Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson, here in White Sands, New Mexico, for possibly one of the strangest stories in video gaming history. Now, over 30 years ago, legend has it that Atari buried millions of the ET cart for Atari 2600 into a landfill outside of Alamogordo, New Mexico. Is it true? We're about to find out. We've got a world-class film crew, a garbologist, and several hundred hardcore gamers to get to the bottom of this legend, but it's guarded by rattlesnakes, scorpions, and a dead space chimp. So, as always, X marks the spot. Let's take a look. I'm here to document what occurs. So from the point of view of my film, obviously if we discover that in fact the ET cartridges are buried here, that's great. If we discover that there's absolutely nothing here and this is all some sort of massive conspiracy, that's also great. Anything in between, not so great. Because if there is nothing here, there's so many witnesses, this is the biggest hoax in history. To blame the whole video game crash and the death of Atari on this uh, on this one game and how hard it was or, or what a crappy game it was is nonsense and a lie that has been perpetrated on the American public uh, and the world. And people have been parroting this. Like you ask people what's the worst video game of all time, they'll say E.T. even if they've never played it. Here we have a game that went through a series of constraints associated with its design. It's then put on the market as a product, it's taken off the market, it's liquidated, and now in a few minutes, perhaps, it's going to leap into a different category, from waste into, I hope, a museum artifact. Zach is going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do today and how things are going to go. First of all, Zach, welcome. Thank you. I uh, actually welcome you guys. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. We are going to start digging in a minute. Our goal is uh, to find some evidence of the burial of Atari products down here in Almagordo. We hope we'll find the ET game. We have not found anything yet. Uh, it could be a long day, so buckle up. Basically what you're seeing here is an excavation of a landfill because we're working on a very short amount of time, you know, through Sunday, you know, we had to get the excavator in and to basically uh, do a salvage trench through the middle of where we think the games are. Because we're working with non-sensitive cultural material, we're actually able to use the bucket loader. We'll fill them up from each of the different bucket loads that are coming up out of the hole, bring them over to our sorting tables, and we're gonna, we're gonna catalog and sort these objects so that we can see what's down there, how much of it is there, what exactly is there, is it ET, is it something else? Yeah, we don't know. Even though this is a story about a mystery um, and about a bunch of garbage, uh, there are some great characters in it too, including Howard Scott Warshaw, who was the designer of the E.T. video game, the much maligned E.T. video game. When you say unfairly maligned, if a player doesn't enjoy a game, that's a fair malignment. So I'm okay with that. A lot of people didn't enjoy the game. There were aspects I had trouble with it. But is it the worst game of all time, as a lot of people bill it? I don't think so, not really. The thing, honestly, that I am most excited about today is look at this crowd. Look at all these people around here. So I did something. I did a little program that I wrote 32 years ago. And today it is still generating social discourse, media, entertainment, focus. It's all happening, right? So, so the fact that something I did that long ago is still creating this much interest, that just makes me feel good. Every 10 years, I find myself doing something where I'm like, how did I end up here? How did I end up doing this? How did I end up standing in a pile of garbage? Okay. Well, if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Uh, we found something. Uh, I'll take this moment to show everyone, give you guys take a picture. We found an intact ET in the video game. Yeah! I don't know if you can see, uh, and the instructions, the instructions are in there too. 
So uh, for those of you who doubted, uh, there's a whole hell of a lot more games down there. We just saw them. They're coming out. E3 is definitely here. Uh, you didn't put out here for nothing. And this movie was a little ways fun. Awesome. Well, after hours of digging, here it is. This is the very first one to come out of the hole behind me. We have found it. Urban legend confirmed. There's nothing more to say. The story's been written. Behind me are thousands more, probably still shrink wrapped with the instructions ready to go, but we have confirmed the urban legend for today. This is it, the very first one we pulled out. Can I take a shower now?